No, Hermione, you didn't let me finish. I'm not a member of the Unforgivable, but I am their leader. <laughs> and I promise to tell you anything you want to know. I don't want to help. I do want to help people. Believe me, everything I've done, I've done to make the world a better place. You offered me the opportunity earlier to explain myself. If the offer's still on the table, I'd like to take it. By the time I finish, I think you'll see you'll see that I'm not your enemy. I never intended for anyone to get hurt, but helping people get what they truly want requires doing some unforgivable things sometimes. In any case, Matthias isn't dead. He's alive. What? And mostly unharmed inside the big trunk in my room. You'd be surprised what people will overlook if he if it's hidden in plain sight. I.e. the pictures. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yo, this is your boy James over at Express Go bring you guys the latest and greatest in Wizards Unite content. And today we're here for another vlog playing through the brilliant event Constance Lament Part 2. And your boy is sick. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I'm playing trying to do this dialogue on the last day of the event where I need to get note pieces. So I have a half hour before the event ends to get the note pieces and place the images and go through all of it. So let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. So first we got Harry at the beginning dialogue. Uh, my oars finished searching Constance flat. Sure enough, they found Matthias Pickening right where she's she said he'd be so her grandfather okay okay under the effect of a draught of living death but otherwise unharmed they also found large quantities of ingredients needed for making polyjuice potion oh my gosh constance all right don't you think it's odd how forthcoming constance is being why would she willingly incriminate herself by meaning that she overthrew her grandfather and took his place as the leader of a criminal organization Because she doesn't think she's doing wrong, right? Perhaps she's genuinely come to terms with the fact that she's reached the end of the road with Unforgivable and has decided to just come clean. Or that. Or she's hoping her candor will lure us into a false sense. Hermione ain't playing with her. Hermione ain't playing with her of security. I suggest taking everything she says with a grain of salt until we can figure out her intentions smart fortunately for us constance may have unknowingly revealed the location of the last bit of leverage the unforgivable has over us penelope Folly's location let's go give me penelope and Graham. all right so that's the opening dialogue we're going to run right right into the game where i'm at and again I have this amount left, 15 note pieces, and I already placed a couple of images uh, from the part one page. So what we're gonna do, pop a tonic, and hopefully we get 15 before the event is. Let's see what happens. All right, so we got our first note piece off the jump, and we got dialogue. Hermione, is it true that our that one of our volunteers found a note from Grim Folly after returning a foundable? She's asked, he's asking if it's true because Hermione faked the last note. A piece of one, yes. We can't be certain it's from Grim just yet, but it seems likely. Grim wouldn't work with us because the Unforgivable had taken Penelope hostage and were threatening to hurt her. Now that she's safe, Grim might finally be open to ending the calamity. It seems kind of rushed. Um, my question is, did Grimm already know about Penelope or knew about the second leak in the um, SOS task force? Because Gareth had came out, but they tried to reach Grimm and nothing happened. So did they know about the second leak? All right, so that's the second note piece. So we're going to get dialogue at the fifth note piece, note piece and the tenth note piece. So let's keep going. All right, we got the fifth note piece. Not placing anything yet. Hermione, now that we've managed to recover half of the note, I can confirm that this letter does appear, be appear, does to be, does appear to be from Grimm. Well, what does it say? Does Grimm seem like he'd be willing to work with us? He did write that he wants to meet now 
that Penelope is safe and Constance is in custody, but, but what? I don't know, the note cuts off there. Oh, come on. We'll have to find the rest of the missing pieces to get an answer to that. How did he know Constance was captured? He must have known. He must have known. All right, this is taking too long. So I'm gonna go and see if I can drive around and get foundables faster. Cause I literally have like 18 minutes. So <laughs> I gotta do this. Let's see what happens. All right, all right, all right. So we just got a 10th note piece. Dialogue. Uh, Harry, I heard our volunteers were able to um, recover, res uh, reassemble the rest of the Grimm's note. So, what's his condition for meeting with us? It's Penelope. Oh, he won't turn himself in until she's freed from her portrait? That shouldn't be too difficult. After all, we freed Kit Gerald from the same curse. I'll get the team of curse breakers that helped Kit on it right away. Restoring her missing memories will be more difficult, but even that's doable. This might really be it, Hermione. <laughs> I'll see how grim when I say we might actually be able to end the calamity. It does feel like this year's long battle is finally drawing to a close, doesn't it? Oh. <sighs> yeah. Even so, we shouldn't get complacent. After all, there's no telling what the unforgivable might do now that they've been backed into a corner. Okay, um, so I gotta return five more no pieces and then we can start placing dialogue. How much time do I have? I got 13 minutes. All right, let's go. Ryan Little. <laughs> Mic check, mic check. All right, so we got our 15th and final note piece. Um, so we're good there. So all we got to do is place images. Okay, so let's start placing images and seeing what the dialogue is. Uh, we got <laughs> we got nine minutes. Snape and uh, Malfoy. You're a talented and passionate witch, Constance. What? You could have had a long career at the ministry where you'd have actually been able to make a difference and create the sort of change you keep insisting you want to see. So why did you throw it all away? Constance, don't fool yourself, Harry. I know you've, you've seen the limits of what gracious the ministry can do. Oh, and how many people fall through the bureaucratic cracks? Just look at what happened to Gareth and Sirius Greengrass. The ministry isn't perfect, but think of all the good you would have done the second wizarding. You would, you could, you all the good we've done since the second wizarding war ended. But thanks to our outreach program, attitudes are changing. The wizarding community is becoming more inclusive. I'm not discounting the progress you've made, but didn't your original proposal include providing free wolfsbane potions to any werewolf who wanted them? Politics and protocols prevented you from making the kind of change that would have done the most good. Constance is calling the ministry out. I know you're trying your hardest, Harry, but at its best, the ministry is ineffective, and at its worst, it's dangerous. You can try to change it, but there will always be things the ministry simply can't do. Am I am I agreeing with Constance? <sighs> Some kids get brooms for their 16th birthday. I get a near-death experience. Not one of your better birthdays, was it? No, but surprisingly not the worst either. That honor belongs to the time George tricked me into eating the extra uh, strength puking pastilles he was developing. I remember that. We were celebrating your birthday at Brews and Stews. The servers had just bit, had just lit the candles on your cake and were in the middle of singing happy birthday when your projectile vomited all over them. That was pretty bad, but at least it seems you've gotten more of your adult memories back. True, and now I finally understand why Hermione never wants to eat out. <laughs> All right, let's get to the portrait. How much time we got? How much time we got? All right, we got six minutes. You promised. You tell me anything. I wanted to know. So tell me this. You avoided Hermione's trap, so you you must have known she was going to use Veritas to expose the identity of Unforgivable's mole. 
So why didn't you warn Gareth Greengrass? I understand that you didn't want want him to know you were theist, but I'm sure you could have found a way to dis discreetly tip him off. So why didn't you? Why did you let another member of Unforgivable fall into our hands? Because I knew you could do what I couldn't. Get serious, the treatment. Oh, snap. She needed for her blood malediction. But Gareth was too stubborn and angry at the ministry to release, to realize that himself. So, so you let things play out and manipulate Gareth and I into reaching an understanding. You encouraged me to empathize with Gareth, knowing that I, in, yo, Constance, mind games, that I helped Sirius, you set us both up. And Domador set you up to face Voldemort. Good gracious, Constance is just like throwing out facts. Why am I agreeing with Constance? Knowing full well that meant sending you to your death. He understood that you have to do some bad things for the greater good. I'm sorry for manipulating you, but because I did, Sirius is finally getting the attention she should have gotten years ago, and that's what really matters, isn't it? Oh my gosh! Spitting facts! Oh my gosh! Well, did you find Matthias? Oh, here comes Hassan Dumani. Yes, he was exactly where you said he'd be. The ministry has taken him into custody, where we've already corroborated some of your claims against him. It appears you were actually telling the truth. You find my honesty suspicious, don't you? I don't need legitimacy to see that. Frankly, yes. I think you have an uh, ulterior motive for telling us all this. Am I wrong? No. As usual, Hermione, you're spot on. The truth is, I want you on my side, and deep down, I think you want to be on mine, too! What? What is happening? Oh my gosh, whoa. <laughs> All right, collect. How much time we got? We got four minutes. Four minutes! Are we joining with the Unforgivable? I found her, Harry. I found Penelope! Come on, come on! You did? I have, I've had my oars out searching for Penelope ever since Grimm announced that the Unforgivable were holding her hostage, but they never found Dragon Hyde nor Unicorn Hair of her. Where was she? On Constance's desk. The portrait Gareth Greengrass trapped her in had been transferred into a paperweight. <laughs> Constance earlier commented about why she hid her grandfather in plain sight. Good lord, her mighty on it, yo. Her mighty, let's go. Got me thinking the same was probably true for Penelope. To think Penelope was right under our noses the entire time, and we never noticed. I must have searched her office 10 times. Never once did it occur to me that the paperweight might have been anything other than a paperweight. Uh, Hermione, don't beat yourself up over it. The only one who should feel guilty is Constance. Fortunately, Penelope is safe now, and we are still closer to ending both of them up and the calamity for good. Oh, I want to talk to Penelope. All right, final, final thing. How much we got? We got three minutes. Okay. As promised, I've told you everything you wanted to know about my involvement with the Unforgivable. Now I hope you all keep your promise and hear me out. Harry and I have heard and seen plenty. We know firsthand what happens when you help people, quote unquote, and what you do in pursuit of the greater good, quote unquote. I know I speak for both of us when I say we want no part of it. Yo, nobody ain't playing. Uh, but Hermione, how many times have you wished you could make a real difference without having to navigate petty politics or legal red tape? Or you, Harry, how often have you seen the guilty walk free because they know how to play the system? What exactly is your point, Constance? You need someone who can work outside the system to do things you want to do, but can't. That's where the unforgivable come in. We'll get our hands dirty while you keep trying to change things from within. Together, we'll be able to make a real difference, starting with revealing magic to muggles? Why? What? Okay. <laughs>